Hi and welcome back to another video. So today I am reviewing the Smeg CO202 chest freezer in white. Now this is a brilliant chest freezer, it's perfectly sized for a medium family or if you're just looking to have just an extra bit of space to store some of your freezer items. But I think the great thing is, is that it stores 177 litres. So it's not on the massive range of chest freezers, but really fits that modern day life of storing frozen food. So that 177 litres equates to nine bags worth of shopping. So the great thing is after 20 hours of plugging this in, you can store fresh food immediately and get that frozen straight away. Now frozen food, you can get straight in here pretty much from turning it on. It's very rapid to start freezing down and getting down to them cooler temperatures. Now, this is a really, really hardy unit. It's got some brilliant wheels so you can move it around. But the great thing is, is it fits into any home. It looks really, really nice. So let's take a little bit more look at what's actually in this product and also as well how it operates. Okay, so let's take a look at the unit in more depth. So the front here, we've got our wonderful logo and we've got an easy to use handle at the front, but also as well we've got that front lock. This allows us to lock the system so easily, but it allows us to stop kids or anybody who may not need access to this, you know, lock that down for them. Okay, so opening up, very simple to do. And what we have as well is we've got a lovely little light that comes on and when it hits a certain point, and the great thing from that is that it allows you to see in the dark, but also as well see down into the depths of the actual chest freezer. So let's take a look inside. Okay, so as we can see here in the unit, what we've got is we've got a lovely little cage that can move from side to side very easily, but also as well you can pop this out. I'm just storing some ice in here at the moment. So let's pop that over to the side. What we also as well have is a upper level. So if I just remove this tray so you can see, We've got this upper level which underneath has all of the refrigeration units, but it allows you to have a really easy um, view of exactly what you've got, but also as well a compartment to sort of segment things out. So I've just got a selection of frozen vegetables here at the moment. Okay, so let's pop this tray back in here and we'll go into what the tray is for in a short while. Okay, so let's take a look at the other side. Okay, what we can see here is we can actually see quite a really deep chest freezer. So as I'm putting in my arm, I can just and so reach into the bottom. Um, so I'm six foot and I can get all the way down to there. Now the great thing from here is I've only got a few items in here. This is my overflow for my integrated fridge freezer. But the really nice thing is I could start filling this out. So I could go to um, a, a market or a butcher and get an offer on some meat. Or it could be a case of I want to store some vegetables or you know anything like that. And the great thing with a chest freezer is, is that you can start putting all of that into there. So deep inside the actual freezer is a little tap. Now this is what the tray is for. So what we would do is we would remove this tray and we would take this out and we would place this underneath the actual freezer. Okay, once that's inserted underneath, all we then need to do is remove anything that's in front of this tap down at the bottom here. And what would happen is, is that when we're actually defrosting the actual freezer, what we can do is all of the water will come out of there. Unfortunately, this chest freezer doesn't come with an auto defrost setting, so it is very much a manual process, and that's why this tap is located and the tray. So all you would need to do is pop the tray underneath, undo the actual tap after you've removed all of the goods within the chest freezer, and just let that defrost naturally once you've got the power off. Okay, so here on the front we've got a really simple control panel. Very easy to use, very easy to read. So what we've got on the left hand side is the temperature setting, so currently off. We can then go to a minimum setting, which is the highest temperature, right through to the lowest temperature that it can do. On the right hand side we've got an indicator to tell you whether the actual unit is on or off. We've got a red light which tells you whether there is current damage to the unit or too much high temperature on the actual unit. Again, that's something to be very wary of if that turns red. 
Okay, so the last light here, this orange light, is for fast freeze option. So if you set this little dial to the super freeze icon, this will set it into a mode whereby the actual freezer will freeze any of the contents really, really quick. So great if you've just had a shopping delivered or if you've just been shopping and you wanna get some of them items in there really cooled down as fast as possible. Okay, so this is how to use the lock on the freezer. We take our key, pop it into the lock, and just turn. Okay, and that's locked now. Really, really great. The only problem that I've found with this key is the fact that it's quite difficult to centralize. It's a square key, but it is quite difficult to pop in. What you need to do is just push ever so slightly in and then turn. Okay, there we go. So in summary, what do I think to the Smeg CO202 chest freezer? Well, the great thing is that it's fit perfectly into my life. I needed actually a little bit of extra space. I use an integrated fridge freezer. And the problem is, is that with the integration of them, you do tend to have less space to actually store your frozen foods. You know, the compartments make it very hard to put some items. And a great thing for this is that I can actually have that space to really sort of put in as much as I need, but also as well get to it really easily. So since plugging it in, I've been really impressed. It got down to the lower temperatures very, very rapidly, but also as well the fact that it's so easy to use. You just open the lid, pop in your food, hey presto, done. Now, the only thing that I've found that is a bit of a problem is the actual lock on here and the keys. It works perfectly fine, really, really good. However, the key is very difficult to get in and actually use. So that could be a little tiny bit of a problem if you're trying to get in there very quickly. So realistically, I think this is a big winner in my book. If you are looking for a chest freezer or somewhere just to store that extra bit of frozen food, I definitely recommend taking a look at this. You know, Smeg do some absolutely beautiful pieces of equipment. And the fact is that this is just a white good and it's not putting itself out there. You know, you can put this in the garage and you know, if it got a couple of scratches on it, you're not going to be too precious over it. But if this was one of the really fancy looking, you know, colored fridge freezers, you might be a bit more protective over it and worry a bit more. Now the great thing is that this is really hardy and you know, it still looks the part. So nice one, Smeg, on bringing out something that's nicely priced, really good looking, but also as well, really practical. So as always, please feel free to leave a comment or a question down below in the comments section. I'm more than happy to answer any questions you may have and look forward to seeing you in another video.